Hi, in this video I have an IDS alarm panel and I'm going to demonstrate how to install a lithium ion battery in place of the regular lead acid battery. Now according to IDS, in order to install the lithium ion battery, I need to first connect a 24 volt power supply and then this additional board. And I'm going to walk you through these steps so that you can install the IDS lithium ion battery in place of a lead acid battery. Now this solution applies to the IDS X64 boards as well as the older IDS alarm panels. Now this is the regular setup. We've got the panel, we've got the AC power supply. The power supply is connected over here to the AC input. And then from the panel, it goes to the lead acid battery. What I need to do is first disconnect the power supply. So I've unplugged it. So there it is unplugged. And then I disconnect the battery terminals. So now the panel is completely dead. Right, now in order to use the IDS lithium battery, I need to have this power supply and it comes with this board and I'll quickly show you the part number. Now the process is as follows. This is a standalone power supply which will feed into this board. This board will then be connected to this lithium battery and then on the side here you'll see two terminals. The battery terminals that were originally connected to the lead acid battery from your alarm panel are then plugged into that terminal and that terminal and I'll demonstrate all the steps right now. So I first need to connect two wires from the V- minus and the V- plus on this terminal. So on the side here there's a grommet. I'm using this high quality copper wire and I will just insert it one wire over there and one wire over there. Right, for this installation I need the V- minus and the V+. Plus. There's going to be about 24 volts across the V- minus and the V+. Plus. There is a third terminal over here called PE. The earth potential is connected directly to this pin over here. In the majority of installations you will not need to use the PE terminal, so we are just wiring V- minus and V+. Plus. Right, I'm choosing the dotted side of my wire as the negative and this one will be the positive. Right, I've wired the negative and the positive and notice that I've threaded this like that so that it's held in place and it won't pull out of the terminal. Now I just need to insert these two wires into the terminal over here. This terminal has no polarity, so it doesn't matter if I put the negative there or the negative there. Using a flat screwdriver, I tighten the screws. Right, this is what the connection looks like. According to IDS, the wire should not exceed 30 meters, which means that if this is in one part of the installation, this wire should not be more than 30 meters long. Now the next step is to wire it into the battery. Notice that I have the positive over there, and here goes the negative. Right, here are the positive and negative from the alarm panel. So this is what yours should look like. I can now plug in the alarm's AC adapter. I can now plug in the external power supply's power cable. Confirm that the green light is on. I can now close this cover and return the screw. I've now inserted and tightened that screw. On the circuit board, you should have the battery LED on as well as the power LED on. Right, the unit is now being fed from the 24 volt power supply and that is charging the battery. In the unlikely event of a power outage, the alarm's AC adapter has now powered down as well as the power supply. The alarm panel will now be fed directly from the lithium ion battery via this circuit board. When the power is returned and the charger is turned on, the battery will go into charge mode and if the AC adapter is also turned on, the unit will then be fed from the AC adapter. Best practice is to put your circuit board into an enclosure. Right, here is my final setup. There is the standalone power supply connected to mains and here is the lithium ion battery which is connected via this circuit board which I've put in this enclosure to keep it out of the way. There go the wires from the panel which are connected to that circuit board. Just an additional note, if you are doing a retrofit on an old alarm system, if you connect the lithium battery like I'm doing here, I connected the lithium battery and at the moment the power supply is not plugged in. Maybe there's an outage or a fault, so the power supply is disconnected but I have connected the lithium battery to this main board, to the circuit board, and there I've connected from the alarm to the circuit board. What you'll notice is that the output here is not going to switch on until I energize the 24 volt side of this board. So what I'm showing is that the output here is way lower than the voltage required to energize the board. Only when I plug in the power supply does the relay here latch. Now I'm feeding the alarm from this lithium ion battery. 
But if I unplug it now, once it latched the relay, once the relay latched, then I'm fine. So if you are installing this when the power is off, just note that the lithium battery will not energize your panel until you have energized the power supply. Once the power supply is energized, it will latch this relay closed. In this case, you can see I've got the output there, the 13 volts, which is fine. Notice that the external power supply feeding this board is off, but the voltage is still there energizing the board, but it was only after I energized the power supply to latch this relay. So if I had disconnected the battery and then reconnect the battery, notice that the voltage is going down and it's not enough to energize this main board. So if you're doing this installation and the power is currently off, you'll have to wait till the power is on in order to latch this relay and get it into the discharge mode. Thanks for watching and cheers.